not only had uh, brothers, but you had sisters as well, obviously. That's right. And, uh, tell me your relationship with them. Yeah, well, I had four. I have four sisters um, that are older than I, that are older than me. Um, and, you know, the two eldest ones, or the three eldest ones, actually, they, you know, I was young when they got married. You know, my oldest sister, she got married the second one, Vicky, then Lupi got married. Then Armenda, my sister Armenda, actually eloped with her boyfriend. So I remember at a real young age, just basically growing up with the younger sisters, Armenda maybe a little bit, and then my sister Cece Socorro. She was the one I really remember a lot. She had a lot of influence in my life as well. And uh, the older ones, basically, they just wanted to get, get out, you know, because they grew up taking care of us. You know, there were so many in our family that my eldest sister was basically our mother, like our second mother, my sister Vicky. Yeah. She became like our second mother. Okay. You know, that happens in large families. The yeah. responsibility falls on the, the eldest of children yeah. to take care of their younger siblings, you yeah. know. And they didn't have to do that. You know, yeah. they were frustrated on their own, having their own problems and going through yeah. what they were going through. And I guess they got married right away. They just wanted to get out. You know, get out of the house. You know, they didn't want all that all that responsibility. Wow. You know? Okay. Okay. And yeah, so but I got along with my sisters. You know, uh, they were very nice. I I, had, I can say that about my sisters. Okay. They used to cook for me. You know, they used to you know help us out when we were little. They used to take take us baths when we were little, growing up as kids when we were real little. I remember that motherly love. You know, that love. You know, and uh, it wasn't my two younger. The two younger sisters, they were the they, one of them got involved in drugs, you know, LSD, uh, Reds, you know, Black Beauties, and then my sister, the youngest, one of the youngest ones, Cece, she really got involved like in, in cocaine and later in her life involved with heroin and so forth, the heroin addict and so forth. But uh, yeah, man, it, it, it's it seems like the younger ones were we were the ones that were really, really. Uh, affected by a lot of things and were really hit hard by the violence that we've seen in our home especially with my father I remember I mentioned to you that he came home one day and my mom was taking a shower and he just pulls the shower curtain down and he, with a, he had a butcher knife in his hand mm. and he went after my mom and my mom runs out of the house and my dad when he was chasing her you know he had that butcher knife he was trying to hit her with it and it, I remember when he came down one time it the knife got stuck on the headboard and he couldn't pull it out. And I remember seeing that and I pulled my young sister, Jessica. She must have been about five years old. And I remember kind of protecting her and taking, out, taking her out to the backyard. And my dad, I could see my dad's eyes. It was like he had a devil in him, you know, and he just went after my mom, chasing her down the street. My mom running down the street with just a towel wrapped around her, wow. you know, practically naked, you know, with this madman you know he must have been on drugs yeah. i believe that it was some type of he was under some type of uh narcotic or something that he was taking to have done that to our mother you know wow. must have yeah been, must have been intense must yeah have been intense, but. right but getting back to that you know uh, what you were saying going back to that original thing my sisters and so forth uh, yeah that's the kind of things that we grew up with as a matter of fact my dad even I remember my dad actually spanking my sisters one, one time, spanking one of my sisters too. And uh, you're not really supposed to do that, you know. I remember, I remember my dad doing that one time to one of my sisters mm -hmm. because she took drugs. And I remember him spanking her. He didn't do it as hard as he did with the, with the, with the, with the, with the boys, yeah. but I remember getting a hold of one of them and he, he got her good wow. one time. Yeah, but I got along with my sisters, you know. You remember your brothers and your sisters and just the relationship you had with them. And um, I mean, yeah. how's your relationship with them right now, right now, right now? Right now, you know, uh, with my two younger brothers, you know, I have one brother that's he's and he's locked up right now. He's facing a 25 to life sentence right now. He's under a psychological evaluation in San Bernardino right now at a psych ward. And he's coming back down here. He'll be back down here in Indio for court in about 30 days. I've been following his case okay. and trying to do whatever I can to help him out. That's my brother that's a year younger than I. His name is David. I have another younger brother named Martin. 
you know, these brothers, my brothers have been in prison most of their lives. You know, they spent, my brother David has spent 30 years, you know, behind bars. My brother Martin spent like 22 years. And my brother Martin actually, uh, the effects were very, very devastating on his psyche, on his mental state. You know, he has been diagnosed as 5150 and uh, he, you know, suffers from that post-traumatic stress disorder. And my older brother, Joaquin, died of a, he administered and shot up a, a dose of methamphetamine when he was 47 years old and suffered a massive stroke that, that killed him. Yeah, so those, that's basically what happened with my, it's happening with my two younger brothers and then my older brother. And my sisters, I have good relationships with them. Uh, Cece, the wild, the crazy one, uh, she passed away in 2015 in Hawaii, but she was serving the Lord. She was a Christian when all this happened. Yeah, yeah.